Welcome back to my channel guys, it's time for another new manga chapter review. Welcome once again to my channel. This is going to be a manga that you guys can find on Shonen Jump. Not sponsored by them, so I won't leave links, but it is a company here in the U.S. For those that are outside the U.S., I do realize I don't just cater to U.S. people, but outside as well. Uh, so I'm not really sure it's going to be available for you guys, but you can probably find it online. Um, this is Witch Watch. Uh, that's the English name. I will try to provide the Japanese name. I have been asked multiple times by multiple people to kind of provide Japanese names always. <laughs> so I, if it's not on the title because the title is so long, then I'll provide it in one of the tags, the hashtags there that I post. Or I will provide it in the comment section or in the description below. So I will put it somewhere. Um, I promise. I promise. Uh, I, I do realize... The Japanese name is probably right now the easier way to find stuff, especially if it only has one or two chapters. So, Witch Watch is a manga that is written by uh, the producer of Astra Lost in Space. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it is a manga that did pretty good um, and an anime that did pretty good. Um, it, it, it released, I believe, two years ago, the, the, the anime. It's been a while. I think it's 2019. That's definitely a 2019 anime. So, um, I reviewed it here on my channel, and I, I give my first impressions as well. Uh, pretty good anime. Um, a little bit twists and turns there. A little bit weird th towards the end, to be honest. But it, it, was, it, it wasn't too bad. So, this one follows um, a witch and an ogre. Uh, now, before I continue, guys, a few things. If you haven't done so by now, subscribe to my channel. I am trying to reach 4,300. I do realize a lot of you guys watch my videos, but not a lot of you guys subscribe. So if you haven't done so, subscribe, give some love. Also, like, comment, and share. And check out my other manga reviews. I will have quite a bit of them this week, so uh, make sure you're watching them. Uh, okay, get this one, the first chapter, it, it, there's only one chapter. Let's put it like that. At least one chapter translated. Uh, it, it released back on Sunday through the Shonen Jump app, and it's something that I might continue reviewing for you guys here in my channel. Uh, Witch Watch essentially follows uh, mainly this ogre. He's basically the main character uh, for the most, uh, at least for most of the chapter. Essentially, he, in the beginning of the manga, gets beat up by a group of people, and uh, his dad uh afterwards ask him like why didn't you defend yourself like you could have defended yourself um and he's like well you know ever since i beat up that one kid when i was little i i don't don't want to use force it's just a lot easier to let them beat me up right um because one it doesn't really hurt me and two they feel like they accomplished something even though they didn't it feels like they, they it makes them feel better right so Oh, and, and three, if he does use his force, he can probably kill him, you know, if he doesn't watch himself. So, his dad basically goes into this little speech about how he should know how to use his force. And essentially, there's techniques that he, he can use. And don't be stupid. Obviously, don't go off and kill someone. But you can defend yourself. Like, you can't just leave yourself off, off in the open. If you don't use your power, then you're basically... You're not an ogre. So, um, he's like, okay. So, he looks 100% human, by the way. Uh, the only thing that, he, that they say that he has is his horns. But he has long, long enough hair that it covers it. So, you don't really see his horns either. Um, so, he looks completely human. And how they explain it, essentially, uh, is by the next part of the manga. His dad tells him, by the way... Your old friend from your childhood, she's coming back. She's a witch. She went to training. She's coming back, and she wants to make you her familiar. Now, if you don't know what familiar is, a familiar is essentially when a witch or a magic user uh, is trying to get their companion, typically an animal, <laughs> they make them their familiar, like a dragon uh, or a cat or stuff like that. In very, very simple terms, uh, let, let's put them into like Hollywood terms for those who don't understand. If you've watched Harry Potter, they're like owls and cats and rats that they use. 
in a way, though, these those would be the familiars, okay? That's basically what the dad is telling him. Hey, you're going to be her familiar. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not an animal. <laughs> so they go and explain the history of ogres. It's essentially, a tiger and a bull uh, were familiars to witches. And they they were so strong. And the, witch, the witches were so strong that they passed them human characteristics. And then these two animals had relationships and created this new t- type of species called the ogres who still have ties to the witches. Uh, so he essentially says you can't really deny the request. You just have to accept it. You know, that, that's part of your life. That's part of who you are. And he's like, well, what if I say no? Like, what if you say no and you reject the idea of being her familiar, then you will go back into your animal form and that will be your punishment. And he's like, wait, what What would that even be if it's a pool mixed with a with a tiger? So anyways, he eventually says yes to it. And that's going to be the whole premises of the manga, him watching this witch. And she's a klutz. She shows up and breaks a window and essentially says, I can fix it. I need something precious. And he gives her a mug. And w- how her magic works is basically to fix the window she needs to destroy the mug. Like she transfers, I guess, the destruction from one object to the other. And he didn't know that, so obviously he got mad about it. Uh, but then to try to tree him up, she turns herself into a 2D figure, which is paper like, and she flies away <laughs> the the building she threw a crack and gets herself stuck in between a house crack and she can't get out. And she basically is telling him, you need to get me out as soon as possible because once my magic worns out, um, I'm going to turn into 3D and I'm going to get squashed with this wall. So uh, <laughs> things happen. There's a guy who shows up who's basically his bully when he was younger. Uh, that He wouldn't do it, n- nothing about it again because he didn't want to beat him up and kill him. And eventually he basically breaks the wall with his ogre force, freaking him out. And to fix the wall, he uses his... Uh, bully's hair which is precious to him uh to repair the wall with the witch's magic that in a nutshell is the first chapter um oh he he also at the end of i guess of the chapter they also kind of just talk about how the witch actually likes him as a guy and so there's gonna be some romance to it so that's kind of important i guess to define the genre of this anime or sorry this manga uh, so genre wise, I would say comedy for sure, romance for sure, and shonen. That's the three categories that I would put it into. Uh, not a lot of action, not a lot of magic per se. Uh, it's more the relationship of them once being young and now they're old and they're together and they're basically gonna live together in the same home because the witch has his familiar you know that's that's who he is and whose identity is now so um what did i think about it and what's my rating um i think it was per se a good one the comedy was very in your face like this is going to be comical like she she very much was a ditzy klutzy character that I liked it in the first chapter, but can become annoying if it's too repetitive, you know, like, oopsie, I did another, you know, mistake and let's fix it every single chapter. That would probably be something that's annoying. You know, if they don't build her character to be more of a person, that that would be something that I'd be like, okay, this is not for me. Uh, The other thing is kind of the romance and, and all that. I do like how they're moving it. She obviously, from the get-go, we know that she's in love with him. Uh, probably know eventually that he also likes her in some way. Um, but at the same time, there's obviously this thing in the middle that he is a familiar. She's a witch, basically her, his boss. Uh, so that that's, that's the kind of like what's making them not be together. So... That whole thing, it's very typical shonen type of romance, and I like it. I do like reading shonen romances, so personally, I do like that part of the manga. Uh, that's why out of 10, I'll give this one a 6.5. Uh, 
Um, don't think it's going to be a great series, but I th- do think it's something that a lot of people will enjoy. And if it becomes an anime, I think people will enjoy it better. Um, cause a lot of the comical things do better as an anime sometimes than a manga. I don't know why they just do. Uh, I guess the movements of the actual characters will give you more of a comical uh, relief to it. So, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Again, I will provide more manga reviews for you guys. There's only one chapter for this one, so I will review maybe two or three, and then decide if I want to continue after that uh, for you guys to release on Sundays. So I'll try to review them as fast as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this again, and like always, don't be strangers. Oh yeah, subscribe, subscribe. We're trying to get that to 43. Again, don't be strangers, and like always, see you guys.